This is one of a series of short videos that I'm doing in relation to the preferences for the Engine Driver app, and today I'm going to look at default functions. So, uh, if you've got your roster set up and your roster contains all of the function buttons for your locomotive, uh, you'll get something that looks like this when you select the locomotive. Um, so that's the functions for this particular one. I've got a different loco selected over here, and I've got a different set of functions. Both of those are sound locos. I've got another loco selected over here, um, which doesn't have the default function, sorry, the, any function set up for it. It doesn't have sound in it, and really all it's got is a, a light, uh, and it's actually showing up a whole pile of functions which simply don't exist on the loco, which it's showing me the defaults. So, um, there's a few things I can do. Uh, if I, I can go into the roster and I can set that up correctly so that it's showing me the fact that it only has lights. Uh, but if my entire roster of locomotives doesn't have sound, then I might want to actually just get rid of all of them and, and be done with it. Uh, and that, that can be done fairly easily. And also, um, when I'm running on a layout where my loco is not in the roster, so uh, particularly on the club layouts that we run on, uh, we don't have the full rosters of everybody's locomotives installed on those, those uh, versions of JRMI. And so I get either the default functions or I get the functions of uh, some random locomotive that just happens to have the same uh, address as the loco that I've got selected. Either way, it's of no use to me. So there's a few things you can do. Um, one of them is you can say, well, don't show me what's in the roster, another, and just show me the defaults. Um, and I'll just show you how that works. Um, well, actually, I'll do it on one that has it, so I'll show it in here. I'll go into the preferences, and under and uh, default function preferences, use the default function labels. So I'll just go out of there. I'll have to reselect the loco for it to. Um, to nope. Mm. Sorry. Okay, reselect the loco. And now it's showing me the default functions. But again, as I said, um, you know, although they. Um, it may not be showing me the, the wrong functions anymore, it's now showing me some useless information. So I can change the defaults. So if I go into function defaults, you can get there via the preferences as well. I can change each and every individual one to be what I want it to be, and I can erase them uh, and take them out and make them disappear. Or well, much, much simpler now, I can go in and say, okay, well, I only want, oops, I only want to show the lights. Just that's it. And again, I've got to just reselect it. And now it's only showing me that one uh, button, or function button. Uh, so if I go back in there again, I can increase that to maybe three just to show me the basics. Um, again, just reselect it. And that's just showing me the three functions. What I that's still showing me, by default it's showing me whatever's in the, um, uh, the, the roster. Um, uh, it's only showing me those default functions if it can't find something in the roster. So if I select a different loco that is in the roster, it's still showing me the standard default function buttons. Oh, sorry, the function buttons for setup for that locomotive. But I can override that completely as well, either via the preferences or by function defaults. I can say use defaults and that essentially means always use the defaults. Again, I'll reselect it. Yep. So now you can see it's gone back to the three that I told it to as a default, and it completely ignores what's in the roster. Uh, as I said, the most likely time that you're going to want to use that is when the roster contains misinformation. Um, yep.